everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these. These, these are amazing and they're so tactile. These are dragon eggs. Now they're very, very simple to make and I'm going to show you what I made these with. These drawing pins. I've got like a silver metallic one and lots of gold ones. I got these for 99 pence for a box of 100. I don't know how many you're going to need to make an egg. It depends on how much you have overlaid your pins to make the scales. Now these can go outside because all it is, is a polystyrene egg and your drawing pins. So they can go out in the garden if you want. Another little tip is, don't play around with it too much because the pins make a hole in here and they can possibly fall out. So you might, if you're going to put them in the garden or play around with them, I would put some PVA glue on the pin before you push it in or you can put glue around it and then put your pins in put more around it well I don't have any small children that are going to handle these all the time and I'm not going to be doing <laughs> they are lovely to feel though I mean these are very these are brilliant really really great and they really look like dragon eggs and the pins really look like scales now you can do this with other polystyrene shapes as well. So the first thing you're going to do with your egg is you're going to put a pin in the very top here like this and a pin in the very bottom. Now these are quite conveniently marked out where the bottom and the top is. This is so by the time you work your way down to the bottom this pin is already there because what you have to do is you have to put your pins around the bottom one and if you've not given yourself enough space and you put one in there it'll easily fall out and to have it like that it's so much better to have it already in there so you don't end up with a little white dot. You can if you want paint your egg first but I haven't. Now all you have to do now is really really easy work your way around in circles working your way down the egg try and keep it even it does help if you try to keep it even it's not necessary now it depends on you how much of an overlap that you do on that the more you overlap it the more pins you'll use so I just try to go for a little bit of an overlap. You can put these outside, like I say, in your garden. And they're absolutely fabulous if you have a little fairy garden and you use the smaller sized eggs. It'll look like you've got, <laughs> you've got a dragon laying eggs in the bottom of your garden. This is how simple it is. Just work your way around. Now I'm going to put some pictures on of Elle. Elle is my niece and she first showed me how to do this and Elle is only 10. I'll probably get her out. She's probably 9 but I think she's, I'm sure she's 10. And she helped me to make this big one that we've got here. Now I did have more but when Elle went back home, Elle took hers with her and she's put them in her garden. You just work your way around in circles like this. Just around and around. Let me help if we put some of them out here. Now just be careful if you drop any on the floor. Got to go look for them because you may stand on them later on. And try not to take them out and put them back in. 
if you push them in and then take them back out again, you're going to leave a hole and you can't keep doing that or they'll just keep falling out if you make your holes end up being too big. So just work your way around your egg like this. I'm going to show you something else that's quite fun. Watch this. Once you start to get, <laughs> once you start, to, I played with one of these for ages. <laughs> They're like those little wobbly things that just go go down, aren't they? Those little weeble wobbles. You can actually, if you make sure you glue these on really well, I'll put some more on because it's to do with the weight and that this is so light. I'm going to put some more pins in. Because this is great fun. If you securely glue these in place, and if you've got this painted, you can actually paint these into little characters. And the pins didn't cost very much. They only cost 99 pence. And it was less than a pound for the, the egg shapes. So watch this. I'm going to move that out of the way. That's a little bit better. Look at that. <laughs> I think that's brilliant. Look at that. If you painted like a little Humpty Dumpty on that or something, you would have these. They, they're good and they're really, really light. But it's because the pins make it weighted that it does that. <laughs> so we'll just get on and we'll just get these eggs made. Now, all I'm going to do is work my way all the way around this egg. Just like this. It's really easy. Now, I've only got my last few pins to put in around the bottom. And this is why we put the one in there first. Because when we're putting these ones around, you won't have a little white dot there. And the last two. And there we go. That's it. That's it done. Just give it a little push. And there you are. That is your golden egg. Now, I've still got quite a few pins left. I don't know how many of that was, but my tubs were 100. There was 100 in the tubs. And look at those. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? I love these, even this little silver one. Look at that. And it's so, so nice. And it really looks like scales. So there we go, everybody. Have a little try at that. And thank you to Elle and my sister Sandra for showing me these. Because I, <laughs> I think they're super. I think that is beautiful. Now, what you can also do is, before you put on the bottom... Before you put the pin in the bottom and the top, you could actually thread a ribbon right through and you can actually have those hanging on your Christmas tree as well. So the smaller size make really nice decorations as well. Down here, there is a red square that says subscribe. If you click on that subscribe button, you can subscribe to my channel. It's going to give me great moral support and it is free to subscribe. So give this a little try. It's really, really easy and very, 
very cheap, but with absolutely amazing results. Look at that, that is beautiful. I like this one as well with the difference of the silver and the gold on it. So thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.